Hey everyone, this is Q&A with Coach MJ number six. Thanks so much everybody for tuning in. What's really cool is that Iron Man Try has also started a Q&A video series just a couple days ago, so I wanna say thank you, and if there's anything I can do to help you guys, uh, please give me a shout out. So thanks so much for tuning in, watching, sharing with your friends. We're here to make you better athletes. So let's go on right into the first question. Lori Cooley asks, how do I get my mojo back after an injury? Ah, oh, Lori, man, that's a tough question because everybody's motivated a little bit differently. And so one of the things I can tell you is that you need to find out what it is that got you into activity, what got you into the sport. I know you're not a triathlete yet, but what what gets you motivated? Where, where does that adrenaline get pumping? And then find that. So if it's not triathlon, I know it's it, I know it was a swimming injury because I was there. But if it's if it's biking that gets you fired up, if it's the hiking that you do, just do that. Um, start doing the things that you really want to do, that you really enjoy, that you love, that you crave to do, and that should help you get back onto the beaten path. So awesome question and. Love you, girl. Anyway, Dave Erke asks, special needs bags, what goes in them? Awesome question, Dave. We get this question all the time. And the answer is it really pretty much anything you can and want to put in those bags goes in them. And for all of you newbies out there, special needs bags are only for an Ironman. And they come halfway through the bike and halfway through the run. You can put whatever you want in there, but you have to make sure you put in stuff that you don't necessarily need to get back. So if you put a $150 pair of running shoes in there, it's not 100% sure that you're gonna get that bag back. So you have to kind of play that by ear. Now, what I would do with biking is maybe like nutrition, uh, flat uh, spare tube for a flat tire, extra CO2 cartridge maybe, um, a little extra nutrition, run. I always put a long sleeve shirt in there when I use special needs bags, which I, I really kind of don't do anymore because I had a bad experience with it. But uh, a, run, a long long sleeve shirt because sometimes when it gets dark and it gets cold, I, I want something a little more in there. Some people put extra socks in there. Some people put like something motivational, something memorial to them that they can look at and say, oh yeah, I remember now why I was doing this race in the first place, this crazy race. So. Answer is whatever it is you think that you need to keep you going. Last question. Nicole Cartier asks, how does USAT test for safe water levels? And I know Nicole, you asked this question a while back and I apologize for not getting to it sooner. There's been a lot of questions coming in, but they do have you bring in an outside company to test for any water levels. Uh, I experienced this with a triathlon I put it on back last year and had to bring somebody in to test, but this is for a race and they're pretty strict about that. Now, if you're gonna go in, I know you're trying to do some swims in like a lake by your house or something like that. As long as you're not ingesting that water, meaning swallowing it, swallowing it or opening your eyes underwater and all that stuff, you're probably okay and that's just an MJ thing, so don't fire up on me, but uh, for, a, for a USAT race, we really need to make sure that those water levels are safe. So they bring in, I, and I, I tried to look on the USAT website, but it was being freaky deaky on me today. So uh, if, if, if they come, they, they'll come in and test and make sure it's okay. So it's an outside agency. So it's not USAT and it's not us doing it ourselves. It's like, I don't know if it's the EPA, there's somebody like that, but they do come in and have somebody test all the water levels to make sure they're safe for us to swim in. So there are your questions for the day. That's it for this week. Really excited to keep doing this, you guys. It's This has been a, a lot of fun. I hope you guys keep submitting your questions and share this, okay? I know a lot of you are watching, but you're not sharing it with your friends. You're not showing everybody what this is all about. And submitting those questions because I'm here just to kind of help you reach your goals. Have a great week. See you next time.